Now, I am Inshallah the blessing, popularly known as Jen David. Now, today we'll be looking at scalar and vector quantities. Now, what is the difference between the two? We are saying scalar quantity. Scalar quantities are quantities that have only magnitude, only magnitude with no direction. Only magnitude with no direction. Or I should say, only magnitude with no specific direction. That is, they are the type of quantities that have only size with no sense. Only size with no sense. So if they ask you that, what is the type of quantity that have size with no sense? That's the scalar quantity. So some of you, you have your roommates as a scalar quantity. You should know that. Now, that is, if you are saying a quantity that are processed size with no sense, then it is called scalar quantity. Or whenever the, the quantity processes only magnitude with no direction, then it is called what? It is called scalar quantity. Now, the next one is the vector quantities. Now, what's vector quantities? And the vector quantities are quantities that possess both magnitude and direction. The vector quantities are quantities that possess both magnitude and direction. That is, they have both size and what? And sense. They have both size and sense. These are the kind of quantities that have both size and sense. Now, in CBT exams, we are going to be given different kind of quantities and in which they can ask you to differentiate or to tell if a quantity is scalar or vector. Now, don't forget, we have a lot of quantities. So because we have a lot of quantities, no one can deduce this quantity is a scalar or vector. Now, with that, we have some rules, and I call it rules that can guide you in order to know the ones that are scalar or what, or vector. Now, the first rule says, now, the first one, it says that all fundamental quantities, all fundamental quantities are scalar. All fundamental quantities are what? Are scalar. Now, if you are talking about fundamental quantities, don't forget, I told that the fundamental quantities we have, the example, we have it to be what? Will be LT meta. I told you, we have seven fundamental quantities, which is LT meta. In our previous class, I do that. The LDA stand for what length, the T stand for what time, the M stand for what mass, the E stand for electric current, the T stand for temperature, the A stand for amount of substance, and the L stand for what luminous intensity. Number two. Number two is that any form of energy, any form of energy is scalar. Any form of energy is scalar. Now you can say. We have the potential energy, potential energy, we have the kinetic energy, we have the kinetic energy, we have the mechanical energy, any form of energy, they are what? They are scalar. Number three, any form of force, any form of force is vector. Any form of force is vector. Any form of force is vector. You can have trust, trust is a force. You can have up trust. Is a force we can have weight is also what is also a force etc any form of force is what is vector any form of force is vector we can have frictional force we can have normal force any form of force is what is vector number four most of the most of the quantity that has the suffix stands most of the quantity that has that have the suffix stands. Most of these quantities that have the suffix stands are scalar. What am I talking about? Now, e.g., you have something like capacitance. Don't forget that suffix means the attachment, the morpheme at the what? At the, at the end. You can see that there is stands here. We can have inductance. Inductance. This is also tans. We can have resistance. So most of these quantities that have the suffix stands, they are what? They are scalar. Number five. As you can 
say that we have we have distance. Distance is a scalar quantity. Distance is a scalar quantity, but displacement is a vector quantity. Distance is a scalar quantity, but displacement is a what? Is a vector quantity. Number six. We have stress. Stress to be vector. Stress is vector, but pressure is what? Is scalar. Pressure is scalar. Stress is vector, but pressure is what? Is scalar. Or you can have it to be pressure as a scalar quantity, and stress is a what? Is a vector quantity. Number seven. You have speed to be scalar quantity, speed to be scalar quantity, but velocity to be what? To be vector quantity. Speed to be scalar, but velo velocity is what? Is ve vector quantity. Number eight. You have any form of quantity that have feet, or most of the quantities that have feet, they are vector. Most of the quantities that have feet attached to them is what? Is vector. Now, when you are talking about the quantities that have the surface or that have feet attached to them, is what? Is vector. Now, when you are talking about that, you have electrical feet. Electric or electric feed intensity, you have electric feed intensity. You have, when you are talking about the electric feed intensity, you have magnetic feed, you have gravitational feed, etc. Most of the quantities that have feed attached to them, they are what? They are vector. Most of these, they have feed attached to them, is what? Is vector. Now, number nine. Now, before I proceed, I hope you are following and you are getting all this. Number nine is that we have uh, an example like, let me give you a code. All this, they are vector. We have it to be value, weight, my momentum. Value, weight, my momentum. Now, all these are vector quantities. Now, let me decode this. This is the code. But let us decode it. Now, if you are saying we have V here to be velocity, we have A here to be acceleration. We have D here to be displacement. We have I here to be impulse. We have U here to be obtrust. We have W to be weights. We have E to be electric feed intensity. Electric feed intensity. That's our E. Then we have T. We have T here. The T there is what? Is trust. That T is trust. We have M here to be what? To be moment. Don't forget moment of a force. We have Y here to be young modulus. Y to be young modulus. And don't forget, we have the whole momentum to be momentum. Don't forget, again, we have V to be velocity. We have A to be acceleration. We have D to be displacement. We have I to be impulse. We have U to be obtrust. We have W to be weight. We have E to be electric field intensity. We have T to be trust. And we have M to be moment. That is moment of a force. And we have Y to be young modulus. Now, at the comment section, but before I proceed, let me give you one more to make it to be 10. Now, 10 is that, don't forget, I said, at the first law, we have all the fundamental quantities to be what? To be scalar. Now, they can say, now look up. If you are talking about temperature, temperature is a scalar quantity, but temperature gradient. But temperature gradient is temperature gradient is a vector quantity temperature is a scalar quantity but whenever you are saying temperature gradient it is now vector what's temperature gradient temperature gradient means temperature over length when you say something like gradient gradient means over length now if i say gen david gradient it means gen david over length 
If I say feces greater than it means feces over length. If I say quantity greater than it means quantity over length. Now, temperature on the norms, according to the first law, it is scalar. But temperature gradient now means it's now add direction to it. That means it now result. It is now vector. Now, at the comment section, I want you to tell me if this quantity is scalar or vector. And the quantity is known as impedance. 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 Impedance states if it is vector or scalar. Now, let me know at the comment section. Like, subscribe, share for others, and let them know about this shortcut. Don't forget to subscribe and to what? To like and comment. So, at the comment section, let me know if impedance is a scalar or vector quantity. Don't forget, this is 10 laws that I've given to you in order to differentiate between the scalar quantity and the what? And the vector quantity. Your first law says the fundamental quantity are all scalar. The second one says all forms of energy are scalar. The third one says all forms of force, all forms of force are scalar, are vector rather. All forms of force are vector. Next one says any quantity that has the suffix stance, like capacitance, inductance, resistance, they are what? They are scalar. The, the next one says distance is scalar. But displacement is what is vector. Next one says stress is what uh, pressure is a scalar, but stress is vector. Pressure is scalar, but stress is vector. Next one says speed is scalar, but velocity is what is vector. Next one says uh, any form of quantity that has feed attached to it is vector, like electric feed, intensity, magnetic feed, gravitational feed. They are what they are vector. And the last one says at uh, the ninth one says value weights my momentum in which the v stand for the velocity a stand for acceleration d stand for displacement i stand for impulse u stand for up thrust w stand for weight e stand for electric field intensity t stand for thrust m stand for moment of a force y stand for young bone loss and you have the old momentum all these are vector and it thanks one the last one says if you can have temperature to be what to be scalar if they add gradient to it, that is temperature gradient, it will not become a vector. And lastly, I ask you to let me know if impedance is a scalar or what, or a vector pointing. Thank you very much. God bless you.